I straight up almost forgot to go live. <laughs> oh, let's look in the question section. Oh, there's only <laughs> Who is Barold? All right, well, that's no one. It's no one at all, and it's a terrible name. First question. First what question was a waste. Absolute waste. Thanks, Steven. Steven's my friend, by the way. I can talk to him like that. What am I playing today? Well, I'm actually probably going to edit one of my throwbacks today. Uh, I got a throwback coming up, Silent Hill 3, which is actually going to be a game that I'll probably play after Resident Evil 7. But, um, yeah, so I don't think I'll be playing anything today. If I do, it'll be Save the Girl, probably. But uh, other than that, I'm just editing a video. How old are you? I am 25. I am 25 and I'll be 26 next month. <laughs> so let's not talk about that. I'm almost 30. That's how old I almost am and it's terrible. Do I have any sports game? The only sports game that I actually have is wrestling. <laughs> I'm a uh, wrestling game fan, even though I didn't buy the last wrestling game because I heard it sucked. But uh, yeah, the only sports games that I've ever played is probably just wrestling. Uh, WWE 2K19 is my literal go-to all the time. What games do you have online? <laughs> I'm gonna sound so... Listen, the only games that I have... Uh, oh, it's Wendy. Y'all might get a live stream of me getting sucked away by a tornado, so that'll be fun. I probably haven't played online, honestly, since I've moved because where I'm living right now, I was terrible internet, absolutely terrible internet. <laughs> the, the online games I was playing before I moved, and this is gonna sound like a blast in the past because it's, it's a few years back, but it was Dark Souls 3. I love Dark Souls, so I played Dark Souls 3 a lot. And uh, that's the last game that I can think of I played online. Oh, I played GTA 5 online here recently too. And God, that how slow our internet is, it was terrible. <laughs> it was, it, it like the load screen was probably 30 minutes long each one. But uh, I played that a little bit. I didn't really get that far in it though. But um, when we move, when we move, I'm getting better internet. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be moved in like the next, at least the next month, I hope. But uh, hopefully I'll get better internet. I'm going to do uh, more live stream gaming and stuff like that. So... So that'll be fun. Uh, I wanted to re read <laughs> some of the comments that I get. So most of y'all have found me off of me sponsoring my videos. So this is the way I look at it. With how ads and stuff are, I, one of the biggest things that I hate is like the app ads. Like the, you, you know what I'm talking about when you're scrolling through like Instagram and you see the ads for the game or whatever. And it's them purposely not getting it right and it really irks you and it's annoying and you hate it. So this is my take on it. I advertise my stuff because like anyone else would advertise their stuff. They want to get more they want to get more people to in my opinion, they want to get more people to enjoy their product or to come like see them do what they like to do best. What's my favorite game? Um, my favorite uh, that's a hard one. My favorite video game, I honestly think it's going to be Silent Hill 3. It's the first game that I let's played on YouTube. Uh, it, it's it's what drug me. It's what drug me into the Silent Hill series. And it was my first horror game that I played by myself. So it has like a huge impact on me. But then again, I want to say The Lion King. <laughs> because The Lion King is the first game I ever played. And it got me into gaming. And I, it was my first Let's Play uh, when I came back to gaming. And then I also want to say WWE 2K19. Because I always play that game. But then I also want to say Dark Souls. <laughs> Because I, I have a bunch of memories with a lot of games, but I think my overall favorite, if anyone asked me what's my favorite game, I would probably just say Silent Hill 3 because it was an exp it was a cool experience. It was the first experience that I had like gaming by myself, uh, well getting back into gaming by myself and it was, it, it, it's old but it still gets you, like it still got me with a few jump scares. And hopefully, if I play, if I end up playing it again, like I'll be able to re re enjoy those moments. What inspired me to play games? I've played video games kinda my whole life. Um, my main one, like I said, was wrestling games. But then I started, um, I started seeing somebody 
who they would play video games and I would like to watch them play video games. So <laughs> once me and that person stopped talking, I couldn't watch them play video games anymore. I couldn't <laughs> watch them play video games anymore. So I was like, oh, fine, I guess I'll have to game or whatever. And around that time that I wanted to start video gaming, um, I was introduced to PewDiePie. <laughs> PewDiePie's literally my, like, I, I guess he's the main inspiration of why I started doing Let's Plays, like I started gaming online and stuff like that. I, I'm, I like how, like, a, a bunch of people tell me, told me back when I was in, like, junior high and high school and stuff like that, that I should have a YouTube because of my reactions and such like that. And I made a YouTube, but I just uploaded videos of me and my friends and stuff, which was also entertaining. But, um, I thought that if I played video games and had the, the, the about the same reactions, not the same reactions PewDiePie does, but I knew, like, I would have reactions like PewDiePie has reactions, and I thought that I could get, uh, a decent following. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> that was not the case for the first <laughs> eight years. Um, but I honestly, I didn't really take it that serious and YouTube started kind of going on the uprise and just because PewDiePie was becoming like one of the big dogs out of the YouTube gaming and stuff like that, uh, I feel like gamers kind of on YouTube kind of got irrelevant to the point to where like other people had other people to watch kind of deal. I picked it back up this past year after I got injured from wrestling and it just I, I, I was gonna stick to it. So anyways, that's why I sponsor my stuff. I feel like if someone's scrolling and stuff and I do the automatic thing So I'm assuming that it's gonna go to people who enjoy my content kind of deal Sometimes guys sometimes that is not the case <laughs> Sometimes it goes to people who just hate who hate the fact that I'm on their news feed Am I gonna do anything when I get to one? I, I guess I could put the question that I'm answering on the screen. That would make sense, right? Are you gonna do anything when you hit 1,000 followers? Yes. One of the I, I'm working on something. Um, I don't know how it's. I, I'm gonna reveal it when I hit 1,000 followers. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna um, start engaging on it. Oh, hold on. Athena's scared of thunderstorms. <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna let her in. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is Athena. She's scared of thunderstorms, so she was scratching on my door for me to let her in. I do have a surprise at 1,000 followers, but I'm going to reveal it at 1,000 followers. So, yes, I am going to do something. And I hope it's something that everyone likes. I hope it's something you guys like and want to be a part of. All right, so anyways, back on the sponsored thing. So, I started sponsoring my stuff to get more people to follow my product because I like doing it. And obviously, people like to watch me uh, game and stuff, which is amazing. And I honestly didn't think that it would get like to where it is right now at all. But there's some people <laughs> that does not like the fact that I'm on there. So I'm gonna scroll through some of these stuff, uh, some of these comments and stuff that I be getting. And it's just like people just, they crack me up because people are sometimes just rude for no reason. That's the main reason that I put ads up, and then I get, like, these trolls and stuff that get mad because I did it. And <laughs> I don't understand, like, where the hate comes from. <laughs> and a few times, I I'm passionate about what I do, so. So, a few times, I try to, like, s snap back at them. I just want to make people laugh, man. And he's like, why do you sound so gay? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, man, it's weird. I'm so gay that I actually find myself liking and dating a man. And I'm like, WTF, this is gay, a gay AF. But I don't know, man. That's my boyfriend. And he said, oh, hell no. I said, oh, hell yeah. I don't understand why people are so mean. <laughs> why is this sponsored? I hate you. And then I just mocked him. <laughs> so I made fun of his eyebrows strictly. But, and the, the uh, irony behind that, because someone just was like, oh, what happened to your eyebrows? First off, what happened to my eyebrows was, I don't know what happened to my eyebrows, <laughs> okay? All of a sudden, and I'm not, like, they, they started growing like that in fourth grade. So I don't know. I don't know what happened to my eyebrows, to, 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 to be honest, and to tell you the truth. So I'm sorry, I cannot answer that for you. I don't know what happened to my eyebrows. I called this person eyebrows because their profile picture was literally, it looked like cartoon eyebrows. And there's, yeah, there's, there's other people, and by the way, sorry that the names are on them, but I, I don't really care. I feel like if you commented on my stuff, then you're okay with it being public. <laughs> I, kept, I kept on getting stuff like this, and it just says YouTuber, and... I, I mean, I asked, I was like, is that a question or is it a label or a statement or what is that? And then he said, it's just YouTuber, bro. And I said, oh, okay, that makes sense then. But I don't know if, if this is a thing that people just scroll through Instagram like, mm, YouTuber, <laughs> YouTuber right there, yup. 
What a bad ad. You know what? Stop. It's, it was a great ad. I know it was. Clapped ass. I dig the I dig the name though, clapped ass. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this uh, this eleven chungs says you've got the worst gamer voice I've ever heard. First off, <laughs> I didn't go to gamer voice school. Didn't know that was a thing. Sorry about it. And I said, TF. Who even? By the way, listen, listen. Anyways, he was like, you got the worst gamer voice I've ever heard. And I said, TF. Who even says some stupid shh like that? I was like, the crap is a gaming voice, mister. I post my PRs and my Instagram bow, still post mirror selfies in 2020 and <laughs> police up non-gamer voices. <laughs> he had his personal records in the gym, posted in his bio like someone cared, first all. Or I don't even think it was a good PR, it was probably a bad one. I bet my PR is 10 times better. Uh, apparently I have the worst gamer voice he's ever heard, <laughs> so. But hey, I feel like that's an award in itself. So, joke's on you, I'm proud of myself for that. So, I don't even know if this person was being mean or not, but I was not having it that day. She said, ah-ha, 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 ah-ha. And I said, me laughing at you still making duck face in 2020. I feel like you should at least be making the, the pigeon face by now. It's 2020, Jesus Christ. The duck face is so 2000 and, 2000 and late is what the duck face was. And then she said, me laughing at you spending money, you advertise your dead page, which was really funny because uh, my page is, my page, my page. My page really isn't that dead. <laughs> you guys are awesome and you respond to me and stuff. Yeah, somebody <laughs> reported me. Why is this a promotion? So I'm gonna tell y'all why it's a promotion. Let me explain it real quick. Cause it's, I mean, it's 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 pretty detailed why it's a promotion. I paid for it. JPEG said boring. I said, no, you. <laughs> I started getting real creative with my comebacks. And then he, on another one, he said, why do you keep advertising these? Because I want to. <laughs> because I want to advertise them. Because I want people to laugh with me. Do you think I would be spending my money like just to, just to advertise, just to, it's like, I'm not Beyonce, first off, I'm not. I'm not Beyonce, so I'm not just gonna spend money just to spend money just because I can. I spend it because I want people to laugh with me. I'm trying to make friends. That's why I keep advertising them. Jesus Christ, Can Can Oh Oh. That's not even your real name. Uh, when are y'all getting y'all's new house? Um, we're hoping to be, our move in date is June 30th, but we had the inspector come and check everything out. And there was like a list of things that we need to get the owners, the previously owners fixed. So they need to fix some of the stuff in there before we buy it. So. Our move-in date is June 30th, but it's not official, so. What is your opinion on cheese? Listen, cheese, um, I think I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> so, but I still eat cheese. Um, I like, I think my favorite cheese is probably pepper jack, if we're being honest. Uh, I think I like Swiss cheese too, I'm not sure. We've got some Swiss, it, it, it's real funny because my partner's dad, literally just got a thing of cheese that's like five different kinds. So it, it's very ironic that you ask because I've got some cheese in the refrigerator that I'm actually sampling currently. But uh, I prefer pepper jack cheese. Y'all real quick, pick a number. First number I see, hurry go. It's gonna be that photo, the number of the photo that I scroll or whatever. It's gonna be your number and then I have to explain it. Uh, 69, of course, of course, of course. A little nasty. All right, fine. 69. Let's see. And number 69 photo is <gasps> Dexter. <laughs> We're going to go see him Sunday. I'm excited. My mom's keeping him until we get our house. What's all this? We got some and some filters. Uh, okay. I wish I wouldn't have made that noise with that filter. 107. Okay. We'll see. That's a very, very large number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at 69. <laughs> Number 107 is a free plug from the Good Game Report. <laughs> Follow them on Instagram and stuff. If you want to stay chilled out, if you want to stay pain free, listen guys, Happy Hump, they are freaking amazing. I'm so glad that I promote for them. I couldn't be more happy. I couldn't be more happy hempier. Happy Hemp, CBD, they sell all kinds of CBD stuff, guys. It's amazing, CBDs products literally changed my whole entire life. I'm um, not in as much pain as I was because of my wrestling and so If you would like to go check out Happy Hemp, 
only 21 and above, please. You can only be 21 and above, and that's it. I need to stop doing that. I got that from Donald Trump because I started making making fun of his uh, hand movements, and um, I've been doing it ever since, and I need to stop. So if you want to check out Happy Hemp, then the link will be in the description. Also, if you want any merch, then go to... Redbubble.com slash people slash FNJX slash shop. And check out all the stuff I got there. I got four different logos and they have 62 different products. You can get shirts, stickers, masks. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get some pants, some dresses if you wanna, if you wanna, your wedding dress should have FNJX on it. Go check that out.